Hello, welcome to my messy desk. I mean my channel. This is Darcy's Misadventures with Mixed Media. This is a pile on my desk. So, you know how Rachel does what's in my box? I'm going to do what's on my desk. Or arm's length art. Whatever you want. What, I don't know. I'm just going to pull stuff from that pile or that pile. There's piles on both sides and also around me everywhere. So, it's going to be a random craft with me, basically, I guess. I mean, got this bird. We could do something. Oh, a squirrel. Okay. I found this box. So now I have all three sizes. This is for the large, uh, the very large, where's my box of index? All right, see, now I can separate all my index cards into their boxes. This one's for the very large ones, which I have more than you would expect. And uh, I could probably fit some other pieces in here that are larger pieces. And then I have the one that fits this size card, and I have the one that fits the regular size, 3 by 5 size index cards, all with that black and white. And the reason I like that is it just is nostalgic to me, because that's what we had at work. That's where all the, um, all the photos and whatnot for, um, yeah, because the photos would fit the long way because they're like tall, thin photos. So like um, in the regular size box, we would just have all the photos in there in alphabetical order. So we'd have them ready for the promotions board. So when they came up, okay, these aren't attached yet. These are Stampin' Up! And we're gonna get the Allium Calli. There's only two forty nine. The Iris and Pepper White. And I might not put them on these because I've got a tall acrylic block and it would take up less space this way. But I wanted some tall flowers. I guess it's all right that this is just the name of the flower. That's all right. I kind of sort of want to cut off the name of the flower, but. It's hardly ever going to show if I put an animal in front of it anyway. So, yeah, there was a whole bunch of stamps there, but I was like, ooh, tall, thin stamps. That's what I want because that's tall is hard. Tall, thin stamps are hard to come by. So, let's see. Long stemmed. It was from 2000 instead of four. Stamping up if you want to look for it somewhere. Or just keep an eye out at your thrift store for when people are getting rid of stuff. So that's what I bought at the thrift store today. Uh, the other day at the thrift store, I got, whoops, it's a box with three drawers like this, and it's this color. I'm gonna, I wanna cut, paint it or something. And then I just got a shelf so that, you know, use vertical space. It's all about that vertical space. What else did I get? I thought I got something else, but you know, I don't remember. So that's, you know, I've been trying to work my foot and make sure that it's okay because next week uh, the clients I go to are in this nursing retirement home and they're like in their apartments and I have to walk quite a ways between each one there's three clients so I'm like okay I gotta build up build my stamina back up all right these are what I did or I did you didn't see that I drew that on there um, and then that one I don't think you I never didn't finish because it was over to the side somewhere but if you want to go check out Eddie Makes Art, he also, he was inspired and he went and played with those. All right, let me just kind of pull some stuff over here and see. I thought about just making a journal because I got all these papers here. But I also have like some big, I'm going to squirrel quite a bit. I think these are going to get used in some clusters. These ribbons from Kim. Because I think they'll be nice in a cluster. So I just, ooh, make a, look at it. And I still got some of this weird tissue paper that's got color on it. Those would be good in clusters, too. Stephanie made me laugh. She had some um, scraps she wanted to use in clusters, and she was like, I, I, I told her, I said, I could just picture you just sitting there with your scraps, just saying, you will be a cluster. You are going to be a cluster whether you like it or not. Not that, like, she ever gets stern about much, except scraps. I could picture her yelling at scraps, but that's about it. Anything else, she'd just be all delicate and sweet and because she's just sweet-natured. I'm, sh I'm sure she gets upset like the rest of us. All right, let's see. Stamps. I have this long, slim card. 
vintage. But see, I wouldn't want to like just cut and it's paper, so I'd probably put that in a journal somewhere. That actually needs to go with my vintage stuff, which is over there in a drawer that I can't get to right now. You know what? I'm going to make this drawer vintage stuff right now. All right, and napkins are also somewhere. Maybe we'll find a reason to use this. I don't know. Set that there for now. That's what I use for my stamps in. All right, this is paper, book page. This usually is not book page that I use because it's Reader's Digest. I usually use it for, um, oh my goodness, blue papers. That's what I usually use that for. All right, and this is a card from my friend. And that would be pretty, a pretty page in a journal even, or a pocket or something. Like both, I could use both sides. Hmm. Because if I cut this here, then it'd be a matching pocket somewhere else in the same journal potentially. Or I could do two smaller tags to go in a pocket here or something. <sighs> I'm going to put this in my unfinished, is that right there? Okay, yeah. My unfinished right now. And then I've got a box for envelopes. Oh, we could play. Oh, you know what I haven't done in a while? And I think I want to make some of those, uh, the tall flap envelopes. Oh, isn't this pretty? That was from Kim. That's, oh, well, I'm not putting it in my finished ephemera because it's going, it's mine. I'm keeping it. I'll just put it here so I can look at it for a while until I put it in my journal. All right. Nope, you guys can't have it. It's mine. What else is over here? Uh, let's see. All right, we got this weird book page, which just could be used for backing stuff. So if we made some ephemera, that is just plain white. There's the cover for the box that has my sponges that fell over and spilled everywhere. I see the bottom right there. Another napkin. Well, we've got a couple napkins nearby if we want to use them. Oh, finished stuff. So these are mostly finished. I didn't do anything on the back. But it depends what I'm going to do with it, whether I do anything on the back. So I think I will put these in finished ephemera and whatever journal we go in that will determine is more envelopes scrap paper see i would use this flower here why not why not use the ripped off top i mean this one's a little bit ripped off but that's the flower above it there we go i would totally use this little piece wouldn't you i mean can i make these smaller actually i could one of the first videos I made was making some playing cards by using tiny, tiny scraps. So, you know. Well, now that I mentioned the long, oh, look at that, see, I have this just because it's got a tab on the top. I want that to be <sighs> Sometimes I just want to make an envelope um, journal, too. Everyone's making those tall, slim envelopes. I mean, tall, slim journals. You could totally do it using envelopes. I can put that one inside that one and you could even have it like you could even make it so that you might be able to make it like a no sew one you know what I'm saying like wouldn't we you know let's just try something I'm just gonna pull my glue's not gonna work why would my glue work just because I open it and start using it? Nope, that's not how life works. You know what? Should I ink these first? Because then I wouldn't have to um, cover all of them. I might do that. Let's go ahead and play with some inks and ink up some envelopes. And then just some random envelopes. You don't need them all to have windows, though. Some windows, yes. All windows, not so much. I don't know where to put that. That one does not have a window, and it has that thing that sticks out the top like that. I don't want to deal with a double window. That one has a window up there, so that's good. That one's a long window. But it's got the thing that sticks out. I kind of like that. All right, what's over here? 
keep these bats here just in case. Okay, we don't need more windows unless they're different enough to. No, 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 no. Don't need a window. Where's all my ones without windows? I'm just going to take all these junk envelopes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I think we can use some eight or eight or not. We'll do eight. I think we'll be able to use some regular paper within it as well. I don't know. You just, you can play. You never know what's going to happen over here. Right now, though, some income's going to happen. Are we going for some spring colors? Or are we going to go for the greens and browns and blues like I like to do? I'm more likely to use. I've got pinks and purples in my stash that I haven't used. Because I like to play with the colors, but I don't actually do anything with them. We've got some old paper. A little bit of lavender, maybe. Oops, we got scattered straw over here. All right. And there's a little bit of water in there. Let's, let's just grab this and put all the water in one container. Or I could pause and go actually get some water. That would just make sense. That's just... Now I will have to remember when I glue things on to the inked pages that it's going to... Um, what's the word? You know the word. What's the word? You know the word. It's going to move. It's going to be water reactive. Weathered woods. Blah, blah, blah. We're just going to use a lot of the colors we used the other day. Where? Okay, this one's more orangey, right? Where? Seriously, these no clog, fast drying no clog things are like. And the ones that are usually clog for other people, I, I never remember to clean them. I'm really bad about that. I mean, maybe it's because I don't put the covers back on. I don't know. But, yeah, that one's definitely more orange, which will green out all my blues. So, all right, where's my, um, oh, a little orange. Got some, pink. that's the new peel paint. Got some bright oranges. I have, well, this one stayed covered. Does it work? Hey, that's the secret for this. Um, is this one butterscotch or something? Rep. No, uh, doesn't it say the color? Ink, I think, be beige. Oh, oh, honey. There it is, honey. Ooh, 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 ooh. I'm still looking for my, um, my other browns. And if I use this brown, I find the one that's already open. Because, yes, I have two of those. Of course I have two of those. Oh, here's my ground espresso. That's, look at that. No cover. Dang clog. Doesn't even say it's no clog. It's like magic or something. If I do this, then I don't have to do as much. Um, if I spray the paper, it kind of hits it a little bit different. All right, so I'm going to do some layers and uh, make sure I get a little bit of everything. Let's do some more of the, you could do this on, uh, this is just uh, like a silicone paper that I got online. It was like 10 sheets, I think. It's not as, it's a little thinner than the Tim Holtz one, but get more sheets. So, you know, when it's ready to be um, you know, when it's not, you don't feel so bad if you're like, oh, this can't be used much anymore. Because then you're like, oh, I'll just buy some more for 12 bucks and get 10 of them. Where the, when the, uh, Tim Holtz one's done, you're like, but I paid 12 bucks for this one or 14, 15 bucks for this one. I don't want to be wasting too much money. That's one. So, a little, get a little bit of a... This is why I like the sprays. I can kind of spray them right on there if I want to. Oops, I just had to pause so I could say hi to my dad. I hadn't really seen him much because I had to go out this morning and then he went out this afternoon. And I get spray everywhere. You don't have to use spray. You can um, use your, your dry inks and then wet them afterwards even. 
I probably no, well, that was blue. Uh, for some reason, I thought I was picking up water. Uh, I'm all over the place right now. I just did a blue one. I need to do a different color. I'll spray something on here. And it does dry lighter. Right now, it looks pretty, pretty dark. Let's try some old paper. There's some green. And there's a little blue in there. And then I'm just setting it right on top of the other one. And uh, that way they get a little bit intermittent. Now a lot of this is going to get covered. Whoops. I mean, Dad's address is my address. But that will definitely get covered. So, yeah. So I'm just going to kind of ink around the edges on this one, I think. Maybe with some peeled paint. Just trying to get it. A nice green. I don't know exactly why, but for some reason, I haven't really had a lot of problems with the Tim Holtz sprays. Some people do. I have not. And then, yeah, just remember they do dry lighter, so don't be too afraid of how dark that's looking. This is also going to get covered with paper quite a bit, but it's also nice to have it be... Oh, let me show you. I mean, most of you already know how to use the Distress Spray, the Distress Inks as a, uh, you know, mixing them with water and whatnot. I'm looking for my Distress. Oh, sure. Don't put the don't put the drawer back in. That that'll be helpful later on when you're looking for stuff. Just drop stuff. Okay, we've got gathered twigs, brushed corduroy, TI, which probably has a little orange in it, walnut stain, and of course, why would my vintage photo be in there? Oh, wait, what is it here? I've got Uncharted Mariner, Salvage Patina, oh, Forest Moss, Wilderness, uh, no, that's one of my favorites. Do a little forest moss and some gathered twigs, maybe. I think I also have some gathered twigs that is the oxide, and I do like to mix oxide sometimes. But you don't want to get oxide in your inks, or probably vice versa. But I'm just going to kind of put it over to the side there and, and mix it after it's wet, kind of. Or just, you know, just remember I've got that color over there. Over here, over there. Can't wet that first, but I'm running out of. See the forest moss is that that um kind of you know darker green. What's this weathered wood? I'm gonna have to refill my water bottle. I'm hoping to get get these done at least before I have to fill my water bottle. And then I'll just. Actually, I wouldn't mind if there's a little bit of coloration on the, um, whatchamacallit. Let's do some, don't I have, do I not have, I don't think I do have gathered twigs in, in this one. <sighs> I started a thought, anybody know what it was? Anywho, I think I might have to get the gathered twig spray if I don't have it. Well, I'll have to look at my refills because you never know what I have in a refill. I just never know. Remember how I got this all wet <laughs> so that I could spray it and now it's all dry already. Yeah, I don't mind if the windows have some color on them. I just kind of give it a film kind of sort of. Alright. Um, and this one is one of the one that's going to... Um, and you could also go through um, stencils with these too. There we go. Like this, I'm always going to cover with uh, paper anyway, most likely. All right, I'm going to dry these. Maybe find a couple of pieces that don't have anything on them and just wipe up as much of the inks here as I can. And so you can kind of see almost all the colors we did played with. Just 
wipe that up. And then I'll also, you know, I'll do something to make this a little less messy. How's that? <laughs> Sound good to you? Yep, I'm gonna add some more ink to the thing that we're trying to clean off because that makes total sense. And maybe try to, I didn't put any liquid gloves or liquid barrier on, but it does help. I don't wanna forget to tell you that I did do a little bit of, uh, uh, I believe I used the picket fence. It could have been the dilutions, I don't remember. But I just kind of sprayed it randomly on each piece, which is like kind of the, the, the one thing that's the same on all of them, besides brown as on most of them. But I can't dry them completely with my heat gun. You know why, right? You know, you know why. <laughs> don't use your heat gun on your envelopes with the windows. Just telling you right now. So I'm going to stop this video and I'll splice it together when I'm able to finish this. That way I can make another video in between and also see what somebody has to say. Not sure who that is. Thought it was Lisa, but it might be somebody else. All right. Uh, so, yes, I'll be back in two seconds for you. Who knows how long for me? Okay. Well, I forgot to spread them out to let them dry during all this time that I was not down here. Oh, my goodness. I just fell. And, um... So they were still damp, but I'm going to, and of course, you know, since we use the ink, they're not perfectly straight. And I've never done this before, but we're going to try and we're going to hope for the best. I'm going to pause for a second to fix this. All right. I just wanted to pull the camera back some, so that the whole length of this, this envelope's a little bit thicker. So I think I'm going to have this be the back page. I'm just trying to figure out. If I want this on the inside, oh, this has to be at the top regardless, this part. Um, I guess my window will be on the outside. That's just going to be easiest. All right. Now, I'm thinking I need whatever envelope I do here to be a little smaller, I think, or for this one to be smaller. Let's see. I'm going to figure this out. And I'm going to try to make it like a no-sew journal. Let's that's what I'm aiming for. We'll see. Time will tell. Some of these are smaller and some of these are bigger. So, and I will like be covering some of this mess here and we're not worried about that. So, trying to construct this thing. That's, that's the first, the first thing I want to do. All right. If I could do that this way. I could. Just glue this one on here, which will give us this side. You probably won't make that a tuck spot. I'll probably just go ahead and have it be glued on good so that, okay. And does it matter which one? It doesn't matter which one. Random order here is what we're doing. Anything on here that can come off because it's bulky? I don't know. I haven't even figured out how to take a bulk off me and I'm trying to take it off an envelope without going through the envelope. Alright, so I'm just going to take my art glitter glue. You could probably use glue stick or, I don't know, PVA glue, whatever glue, tacky glue. Depends how much time you have for it to dry. I mean, if you're not doing a video, you can use tacky glue or even the quick dry tacky glue, which costs way less. Don't go... I guess we'll go this way since I don't have a window on this side. And I'm leaving a little tiny space between where the fold is and the envelope. Just so it doesn't bulk up too much. I might have needed to leave a little bit more, but I don't know. I can see the line. That's all I know. Alright. Did I just mess up? I'm not, I was not planning on this being a, whatchamacallit. An accordion journal. I didn't want it to be an accordion journal, but if I'm not careful, that's what it's going to have to end up being. But that's what, or this might be a slip out, and then I can just put this here or even here. It's going to be bulky in the in this part. Let's see. Where's another one? I want to make sure I have a longer one for the beginning. This one might be wide. Is it wider? definitely long. Let's fold that in so we can see how wide things are. Alright, I might save this one for the front. 
because it is wide. And this one, I showed you what happens, right? Yeah, I did. I showed you what happens if you uh, break your thing. Um, I may end up putting some vellum in there or just strengthening the outside edge and just have that be something something sticks out of. Something. All right, but we're not going to use that one. I needed more that didn't have windows is what I need. All right. That's going to get paper over it. All right. So I'm going to take this one and put it around the whole thing. And it's going to go over to the back here. So I'm going to leave, when I glue it on, we're going to leave about a sixteenth of an inch or so. Oh, yeah. I did a short on those. I have to go on my computer to put it on YouTube still. But it's on Instagram and Facebook. And I was, I'm always surprised when like in the first hour it like gets a lot of views and I'm like, what in the world? Somebody must have gone and had a little potty break and left it going. <sighs> All right. Because I don't usually get views like that. That's why. Now, they don't all have to be um, long pages. Also, they don't all have to be um, uh, what are these called? Envelopes. I was thinking of maybe bringing in some book page, which coordinates somewhat, to some degree. No, I don't want to do that yet. Let's see. Um, 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 what I might want to do is just tearing about three quarters of an inch to an inch there. And then I'm going to fold it the other way because the part I want showing when I glue it down would be this part. So I'm just going to glue that down. I like that there. Could have inked it first, but it might be covered anyway. So, and then I'm going to line that up on my edge here. This one I am lining right up to the edge. So with that and an envelope, I might take, let's see, the other one and maybe make it a little flip over here. Like I said, never done this before. Just playing. This ruler I got on. Um, oh, Edwin, what is your shop? Edwin shop. I um, can't remember what it is. I'll try to link it. Uh, and if he doesn't have it, I think you can ask him and he'll let you know if they're available, when they'll be available. I should have put that underneath because I like this part. Oh, well. Too late now. But I may put another piece on the inside, which will cover the glue there and everything. And then this will be a pocket in the journal. And there's another pocket, which I might even cover this up and make the pocket on this side or up here. None of this is cut in stone. None of this is in stone. So, which is the big one I was going to say to last. That one. And then this one, I might go ahead and put it... If I put it this way, that's a big one, man. So probably need my bottoms to line up. So if you ever wanted to sit it on a shelf, they could do that. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna do that. So then we need to go up to here. And I could have turned that one around too, but that's all right. Should I get it to the edge? Probably not. Down to the bottom and up to the edge. Um, oh, so the next one we have on the back so far. I could do this page, which I could also have go to the back. be in the middle there. It's going to get thick on that back though, isn't it? But if I don't want to, um, see every now and then I kind of want to 
cover those too. This is a nice, it's like 72 pound paper too. I might do it like this. Just because I don't know what I want to do with it yet. Alright. So I'm going to glue that on there. Don't know what I'm doing. Like I said, I'm just doing this. See what happens. We are experimenting here today. In case you're wondering. That's what this is. Experimenting. Alright. Well, we like that with that lavender bit there. And... Maybe another one with a little tab that's up at the top, which would be do it this way. Yep, okay. Now I can do what I was planning to do in the first. Well, I don't think it goes all the way. Whoops. My idea was to go use the pockets of the journals, but I keep forgetting to use that also. I'm going to have to make sure that the glue is not on there. There we go. Oh, got some glue. So now I can take one. It just has to be a little bit smaller. Of course that one's bigger. Why would it be smaller? Oh, there's one. Kind of fell apart. But that's all right. We just put it back together. Right where they have the glue, right where they have the glue. And I'm just gonna, I'm not sealing the whole thing up because I want to put this in here. See, that's, that was how I had thought about it before is to use the inside of the envelope for tucking that part of the envelope. You know what I'm saying? All right, I'm doing that on that side, and then I'm going all the way to the edge. Wait, why did I do that? Oh, I should have just done it on the back. Hold on. I mean, it doesn't really matter, but it depends what you want to do with it, if it matters or not. If I want to use this as a pocket this way, then it matters. But if I'm going to cut it on this side and use that side as a pocket, then it doesn't matter. I guess we'll see. All right, let me use another piece of paper here somewhere. Got some um, couple different options here. That one's a little bright. Um, what else do we have? We have lots. So much. They've all just... Look, there's my stack of digitals. Oh, we could use a gel plate. Right. Should we look through those real quick? That's a little green. They're upside down. I don't know. I guess maybe I was looking for oldest to newest. I don't know. That's not in our colors. Don't really have any bright. That's not the right green. I might look in the digitals again. I like that other digital that I had. Oh, that's right. I used one of mine, and I used one of, I don't know who's probably Pink Monarch Print was the other one. Not going for fall. Oh, my doodle bugs. They might be kind of fun. They're kind of green green. Kind of fall. I love that one, though. I, gotta, I need fall to come back around. I didn't make the journals that I needed to make last fall to use up some of these ones that I have that might might kind of work hmm. well where I had my digitals I don't well I have some I have oh I like this one actually this has got the grungy look that I want that's also one of mine. Green. Oh, and this one over here. I might also use because it's got the blue and the brown. Alright. 
I use this one here? What was I doing? Oh, I wanted... What would I use here to make sure that it stays protected and whatnot? Let's see. Oops, got stuck there a little bit. Um, okay, you gotta make sure your glue doesn't stick uh, like I did. It's all right. That'll get fixed in 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 the end. It'll all get fixed. All right. And I do have enough space here, so I could go ahead and just could even come down here. We'll turn it this way. I know I'm so precise, aren't I? <laughs> Not. I don't even cut it down yet. I'm sticking it on here. I'm doing that one down at the bottom. And I might do something a little bit, a little crazy. What I might do is just tear it like this. And that way, that peeks through that page. Hey, did you know you could do that? You could totally do that. You do whatever you want. It's your journal. You do it your way. Like, I could even just, well, since I messed that up and I don't, might not want to deal with that pocket, I could just even just attach that on to this. Then I don't have to deal with that pocket. Right? And then just close that up and do something with that. I could totally do that. And then that would be like that. I might do that. Or, I don't know. Did you guys want to see how I deal with this pocket that doesn't have a... You do? Okay. Fine. I'll glue it on this side then. I'm going to close this. And, do I want the pocket on the bottom? On the top so something can tuck in, right? Alright. And I'm going to just glue down here. And this will make a big pocket on the back, right? I don't know if this paper is strong enough, but I guess we'll we'll find out. Okay. Just trying to get it nice, firm, close to the edge, even though we have this piece sticking out, and we'll fix it at the end. Everything will all get fixed in the end. Another little piece of envelope, just Stick it right, peekaboo right there. Sure, why not? I'll go that way, I think. Whoops. Now I could go on either side, but I have a little more room on this side, so. And I'm not going all the way to the edge with this one. It's just going to be a, a little flip inside the book. And then we had a big, the bigger piece right here, which will be our cover, I think. But I think I want the window on the inside because I want to be able to put something on here on the outside. And... I think, let's see, it's very tall. It ended up being much taller than everything, you know what? I'm gonna put it on the back. But I'm gonna put it on the back, like this. Whoops, I know, we'll see, I don't know. Just play, experiment, do things. I did the glue up too far. I just realized that. Kind of get that straight down at the bottom. All right. So, so far, I don't, I'm going to cut myself on that. You know that, right? 
what's going to end up happening? I had the song in my head from the um. I need one more envelope. I should have one, right? Did I use them all? I had eight, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, I did use them all. Okay, that's all right. We won't, we're not stressing about that. We have those things we made the other day. And we had a fairly large one. Nope, we didn't have any big enough to be... Well, let's see. I definitely want something that's going to be able to go around here. And I might just use a piece of fabric for that. Like, what kind of fabric? I don't know. Probably just some muslin. It's probably. I'm looking really quick through here to see if there's anything that works. And the meadow doesn't. And I'm just on my iPad. Ooh. What about this batik? That could, kind of, except for it's not long. Well, I don't need it to be long enough all the way around, really, do I? Um, that's ball. You guys probably want to see what the heck I'm looking at. I don't know. Ooh, this will add a little bit of, um, that's got all the colors plus a little peach, right? Maybe that one. Uh, which way is this going to rip? I don't know. I don't need it longer than this anyway. Scissors. Make the world go round. That'll spring it up a little bit, right? Um, I only need enough for... I just kind of want to straighten my edges. For the, um, but I might, I only need enough for the, the binding, but what I'm saying, trying to say, these like might have come from curtains or something, I don't know, but, so I'm thinking about doubling it is what I'm trying to say, could even do it this way, and then I just need something for the top, right, because I've got, I mean, I could make that the top, but then all the ones that I did, oh, that one was at the bottom. So that one will be at the bottom, which would be okay. Actually, no, because this has to be at the top, doesn't it? Yeah, that's great. And plus, we have it flat on the bottom. Okay. So this has to be the front. And just need something. I can back this on something. I mean, it's not bigger, but that's okay. I don't need it to be bigger also double it I don't need my cover to be perfect All right. I don't even need to be super I just this is just for playing in let's see Blue. I know I have blue. Oh, yes, yes, this blue. I want the. I'm just gonna double this page. I think it's 32 pound, anyway. So I'm just gonna do that, and then I'm gonna have a piece on the front. I think from the other day it might even be that. Actually, this piece might work really nicely. And this is going to get covered, that white part that's sticking out there. So, this is going on the front. And this is the top here. Okay, remember where the top is, lady. I'm going to put it down here so all this sticks out the top. And some sticks out the front and a little bit shows that way.
would help if I keep it just on the part I'm going to flap around here. I don't want it sticking out too much, though. So, and then I'm just going to squeeze that. And then, I think I am, yes, no? I mean, it'll give us some strength. So, I almost feel like I want something here, too, though. All right. I think... this way. I'm going to put a piece in here. Yep, yeah, I know that's too long. That's all right. We'll make it less long. And I don't know where it is. We're going to use, I'm going to use some Fabri-Tac. I'm going to try not to open the whole bottle top when I open it. <laughs> that ever happened to you? You're opening this part and the whole thing starts opening? No, just me? Okay. Alright, I'm just going to... Which side is the... Okay. I just kind of want to hide the fact that and I'm only going to go to here. Maybe? I don't know, because I put this thing on here, and that's kind of messing me up. Um, so we'll try it like that first. That dried fast. That was unfortunate how fast that dried. Didn't even have time to swipe it with my finger. I'm going to do a little on the edge and everything. Swipe it with my finger to smooth it out so I don't end up with strong lines. okay if this flips up a little but I will probably it'll still as long as I don't glue it down here I'm just gonna glue it on here just glue it on this part up here and that way when I flip that the whole thing flips and well it's got a little more over here than I need really is what happened this is probably gonna be a mistake oh that's a lovely sound it's not, but being sarcastic with that. All right. I do like how those look good together. Let's see. So now I've hidden all that mess under there. I think everything else is pretty much um, not as obvious of a mess as that was. Yeah, I think we did pretty good. And then that... And so now, I want to use a piece of this here just to, uh, I'm going to go all the way to the bottom and I'm going to have it stick out the top just a little bit. And I'm going to cut it in like half. I don't need this much. And there we go. This will be... On the next video, I'll start decorating it, but here's a no-sew journal you can try with envelopes or whatever. Hopefully, you've learned some ideas of, of things you can do, which, you know, folding paper, gluing it down, all the things, getting the fabric to go where you want it. This is some fabric from my gram. And I like it. It almost looks a little bit vintage, but I don't know that it is. Looking vintage and being vintage are two, two different things. And then, if I don't want it to wrinkle up a lot when it's done, then I want to go ahead and... I don't think I need that much. I just need just a little bit to come over the edge. By the time I'm done, I'll have enough little strands to make a closure, I guess. Well, yeah, because I could even, like, have them be, like, here. And oh, my goodness, there's glue on my finger. <sighs> All right, so I'm going to do this straight, like, with the book open. And I'm just doing it 
on this front piece because if I do it on any back pieces, it's going to stick for, you know, I'm not going to be able to open my book, you know, does not seem straight. Also, ow. you know, when's a hard time to find out that you have a, a cut on your finger, on your, on your uh, knuckle It is when it hits the, <laughs> the acetone, acetate glue. That's when you find out you've got a cut on your finger. All right. I should wait for that to dry. It's kind of the point. It, that's why it dries pretty quickly. It's a little bit crooked, whatever. But, uh, oh, I want to find some muslin or some cheesecloth to put behind this. And I think that will make a fun topper for that. Um, but I do want to put something underneath it. This was one of the things I made the other day. And I put the butterfly on it. And I might I might actually use those strips of fabric for for that. For that for closure. Words. We all know words are hard. And if we do videos, we know it extra. So but won't fun grungy. This is no, it's not too wide. This is a grungy. Like it's, it's a journal card, but it's not even straight on the sides. That's how grungy it is. So that'll be fun. So, all right. So next video, I'll start collaging and decorating and adding different pockets and stuff. This is probably going to be a pocket right there. Um, but I might put, uh, I might not glue it down. I might close it with another piece of paper. And then I have that whole pocket across to use. Or I might have it be two pockets going this way. Who knows? I still have to think about that, don't I? All right. So I hope you all have a delightful day. And uh, go play. Go have fun. Wow. That Oh, I was going to say that didn't take as long as I thought it would. But then I just remembered I'm attaching it to another video. So it'll be plenty long. <laughs> have a delightful day, guys. Love you.